not saying this is part of the problem, but this, yeah, and I can't tighten it down. I'll have to see if I can get that a little bit tighter or figure something out. Make sure that's good and snug when I put it all back together with some, you know, a little bit of thermal paste. All right, so we took one of them, one of the working ones. Uh, there was three of them that had DDR3 in it. Two of them were the mid tower size. One of them was the desktop version, which is the wider one. The desktop version does not work. Um, I have not been able to get it work. I've had a couple of challenges, some tribulations trying to do so, and it's just not functioning at this point. So I did take the memory out of that, two two gig sticks to test with. They run at 1333 mega transfers per second, which replaces the two one gig sticks that I took out running at the same speed. Uh, and I was able to go ahead and run some tests. I ran them, I was able to do uh, Cinebench R23, tried to run the Heaven benchmark, and actually got some results not great results but it was much better than having the two one gig sticks in there um now i also have two four gig sticks but there's a problem with them because they're on a different voltage and so they down clocks it to 1066 instead of 1333. i did update the bios to allow it to go to 1333 on the front side bus however with the memory with the different voltage it down clocks it back down to 1066 so i can't get the full potential out of that what did that mean for my testing? Well, in Cinebench R23, it knocked it down by about 100 points. As far as testing a couple of games and testing like the Heaven benchmark, it actually helped quite a bit, along with an RX 6400. Now, I know that's just asking for trouble, because that RX 6400 only uses four PCIe lanes instead of 16. Most video cards of that era were using a full complement of lanes, so it could get as much bandwidth across as it could. Now a lot of video cards are cutting back on that to 8 or to 4 and then just increasing the speed to try to do the same job, trying to make them more power efficient. I'm not so much worried about power efficiency, I'm worried about making this work. The other side of that that I have to be careful about though is that PCIe lane only has about 25 watts going through it from what I understand. Me trying to push that for long periods of time, even with the video card that doesn't pull that much, I have to be concerned about it, I have to be worried about it. So I'm probably going to have to stick to my lower ones like a GT 1030, the RX 6400, and those that pull a lower wattage so I don't run the risk of burning that card up if I'm trying to do some long-term testing or playing. It's just one of those things that uh, I don't have the full 75 watts that a normal, now modern-day motherboard would provide to a PCIe. Still, that's enough to test with, enough to play with. Uh, when I ran the Heaven Benchmark with the RX 6400, I got much better results than I did, uh, I should say, with the 8 gig to 4 gig sticks instead of the 2 gig. I did get better results there. I did try to run it with a couple of benchmarks like Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Uh, is this going to run modern games? Not a chance. We're missing textures. It takes a long time to load. It's just something that's not really practical, I don't believe. Uh, but that's at 1080p. So I might lower my expectations and go for 900 or maybe 720p and see if that works a little bit better. I don't think the load times will improve that much, but the rendering might improve, and that might be something I can, I can test with. As long as I manage my expectations with this, I think we can build a computer that we can play some older games or just have a functional computer. It ought to play Roblox. It ought to play Minecraft. It ought to play older games like maybe Unreal or Doom or any of those from, from a little bit older age. Maybe Roller Coaster Tycoon or something. Some of those games should run on this okay. And so I think I'll test them out. Uh, even like a competitive type shooter like Unreal Tournament. I, I think I still have that on disc that I can put in there and uh, just see what results I can get out of it. Um, I might have to manage a different video card right for that era and we'll have to see maybe I'll, I'll do something with the power supply all that's to be seen but i think the next upgrade for this computer or maybe the other one I, I might take the other working motherboard out and put it in the bigger one the desktop which is the thicker case put the q6600 in there and uh add some rgb because everybody knows that adding rgb gives you more fps so that's what i'm going to do that would be my totally unnecessary upgrade that we will probably do a video on. That might be the next one. I don't know. Uh, we, we've got other videos going on too, but maybe my next video should have to be the totally unnecessary upgrade for a 12-year-old computer. Yeah, why not? Hey, you know, it works, right? 
So anyway, that's what we're doing right now. I did get one of them functioning, one of them working to some kind of standard. I got several of them working, but they're basically just posting to the BIOS or posting to a screen that says, hey, you know, you need to change your CMOS battery. But I did install Windows on this one. I did get it going. I did put some tests, run some tests for it, and I got some moderate results. Is this going to be an everyday computer for somebody? I don't know. Is this going to be a sleeper build of some type? Definitely not. Will I be able to make a sleeper build out of any of these other ones? No, because the motherboard is such where the case is built differently and that motherboard is inverted. So the PCIe slots and all that stuff are on the wrong side. I would have to do a major case mod to do or use a modern uh, motherboard in these, uh, these cases. And I think that's more work than I want to do. But I should be able to get a couple of them to work. And if I can, maybe they'll be of use to somebody. Or at least if somebody's just doing everyday stuff, like, you know, they're wanting to check their email or web browser, or whatever, one or two of these ought to be fine. And then I'll figure out what to do with the rest of them. Like I said in the last video, I'll probably round up a bunch of the, bunch of the CPUs or a bunch of the memory and just sell them as one, one lot to something and then uh, take the other, uh, other cases down or something to get recycled. Who knows? But anyway, uh, yeah, that's where we are so far. One I'm working, one of them that I've done some extensive testing, one, a couple of them that I have tried to get some more testing done that hasn't worked out so well, but that's okay. We'll keep working on it. And a couple that we're going to still continue to work on. So, yeah, that's not bad. Not, not horrible. It has taken up an awful lot of time, but not horrible. But anyway, if you've got anything out of this, learned anything from it, found it amusing, uh, found it informative, anything of that nature, uh, go ahead and throw a like on the video. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Uh, trying to get to 1,500, then to 2,000. Obviously, we want to grow the channel. Don't forget to hit me up on the other socials if you don't mind. But if you don't do any of that stuff at all, please just do me one favor, and that's be kind to each other. Do something nice. Say good morning. Hold the door open. Just wave, smile, something. I, I say it all the time, but I really, really mean it. You would be surprised at, at one kind gesture, what it might do for somebody's entire day. You might be the reason why they have a good day and you would never even know it. But that's okay because somebody else would. And maybe if somebody does that to you, then maybe you have a good day and they have no idea why either. But you just never know. And don't we kind of need that right now? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for right now. So until I get myself into something I got no business getting into, that's it. And I'll see you later.